So, yeah. hi. <laughs> so, Eliza, um, how long have you lived in Fitzroy? Mm, I'm thinking 89, I think it was 80, 88, 89. Yeah. Originally, so I moved from Sydney to Fitzroy. Yeah, and, and what, why did you move to Fitzroy in any particular? Um, it was quite bizarre actually, because I had no idea really about where to live in Melbourne, but um, I was just from, you know, like share households and places to live and yeah. it just happened to. Well, someone told me about the black cat and pink, and I looked at um, on the notice board and, and moved in there. And I found a house through there, basically. Yeah. Someone who worked there, in fact. So, so it was like the, um, the share house network? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and um, th wh what do you um, particularly like about Fitzroy? Um, now. Yeah, now. What, what? Um, or then. <laughs> well, both. <laughs> or now and then. Well, then I thought it was like God, you know, like I just almost moved out of home and thought it was amazing. Like, you know, like. Yeah. There was, cause there, I guess because there was an amazing, there was sort of a sense of community and everything was really close and mm. still really quite a big Italian population. Yeah. And then it sort of had this great sort of level of. Um, sort of accessibility and sort of grunginess that I really, really appeal to me. Yeah. And, you know, I was cheap to live and really, really close to town. Yeah. I couldn't believe, because I'd moved from Sydney, I couldn't believe, you know, if I, so somewhere like that, so close to the city, still existed. Because in Sydney, places like Paddington had all been, you know, Surrey Hills had all been sort of been much brought up by Apple. And, and gentrified. Yeah, and yeah. gentrified. And yeah. so at that stage in 89 was still not, I mean, it was to a certain extent, but not, not like it is now. So yeah. As opposed to now, it's, it's almost like um, still having, because I'm an artist. Yeah. It's such a great sort of, it's so local, um, the whole thing is so local around here. It's still here from like when it was established, like Bertrand Street and CCP. Yeah. Established about, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. But, so that's still here and the arts community is still very strong. So I, I sort of, I don't know. I tend to gravitate to the Collingwood side of Fitzroy rather than sort of Brunswick Street side yeah. of um, Fitzroy. Yeah. Because they can sort of really can't I actually really can't stand Brunswick Street. Yeah. But um so, so but it's great for convenience and just sort of yeah, locality to the art community. Yeah. Um, so so what, what do you think fosters the the local arts community? Is it is it the galleries? Um, it's definitely the location of the galleries, I think. Because once one's set up, yeah. and then like, there's two key public galleries, and then yeah. you know, all the little artist, artist run spaces will kind of set themselves up around that. Yeah. So they become part of this sort of um, circuit, I guess. Yeah. And, and so it's pretty amazing. I mean, even that, so you, you wonder whether they'll exist in 10 years' time, or you know, whether they'll get pushed out with higher rents. And, mm. But it's quite, you know, it's quite hilarious because it's sort of, I mean, obviously set up the sort of the social framework that a lot of the sort of yucky style developers were into, but yeah. will eventually, I think, sort of move on or go somewhere else. So, so you, you see that as the biggest threat to Fitzroy? Um, like the, the gentrification, gentrification and the um, affluence sort of? Making the place dull and homogenous. <laughs> I think so. Ultimately, I don't yeah. think there's that. I mean, even you know, there's no way of rationalising it any other way. Like, because I think it's sort of, I mean, those sort of things you should sort of just start up where you know rents are cheaper, it's easier to get things happening. And mm. Because by default, a lot of people who do more artistic activities don't yeah. tend to have a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I can't see going any other way. But yeah. And and you you were talking before previously mm. <laughs> off yeah. camera about um, Fitzroy having a an essence or a centre. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think there's this idea. You know, cause, particularly because I moved here like probably ten years ago, but even I'm sure it was quite similar like the ten years before. But <clears throat> the fact that it had that sort of slightly sort of grungy, sort of very community, you know, like the small, when they had Brunswick Street Festival, it was like this yeah. really, you know, it was quite small, yeah. but very sort of local. Mm. You know, you didn't get heaps of people coming into the booths to see it. And it was, um, and now it's turned into something completely different. Yeah. So I think, I mean, 
obviously that, and I think there is this longing, obviously a longing after somehow that was the essence of Fitzroy, like then when it was small and localised and it was much more just the community rather than this sort of magnet for like the suburb. Yeah. And so, but it's quite fun. I mean, there's, it's this, it's this change. There's not, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And because of its proximity and its great location. Yeah. You know, I can't imagine it happening sort of way, you know, way out past standing on. Mm. But just because of where it is, it's quite it, far and happen. Yeah, so it's, so it's geographical location. Yeah, I think it's got a lot of kind of things. I guess it's both certainly sort of St Kilda, I guess, in that regard, because it's so be- it's such a beautiful location. Mm. So what, what parts of Fitzroy do you dislike most, do you think? Um, or, or not identify with? I actually go corner of Brunswick Street and Johnson Street. Sort of like this, oh my god, I'm not on this corner. Like, you know, like this year some like convenience store and yeah. then I can't remember it's like a French or something. Yeah. And um the other building's quite good, hasn't been developed. Yeah, yeah. But um bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like this is it is this general sense of preciousness. Because I used to love walking down Brunswick Street and now it's just like, oh my god. Yeah. And also, I don't know, and the way it's sort of this sort of retro alternative culture too, that sort of really, think it seems to breathe. Like, you know, anyway, yeah. I think cool is sort of retro alternative. And like, it's sort of like it's not even, that's the way it chooses to be progressive, which is quite bizarre. Yeah. So, so and <coughs> the retro is almost, is commercial as well? Yeah, and massively and commercial. And expensive. So. And expensive. And like, you know, clothes that you find in. Off shot, off shot, you know, a couple of years ago for like three dollars and I, you know, like forty dollars and yeah. and it's, I mean, it's just I can't, you know, I really can't stand it because it's sort of really un, it just seems to me really unintelligent and really sort of aggressive. But you know, but obviously it's someone else's form of sort of progression, I guess. Yeah, and it's <coughs> it's not really progressive for people that live here either because it's not. Any useful shops? No, I mean that's the thing. <laughs> there used to be these great delis and yeah. you know old shoemakers and, yeah. and like it all moved out. Like yeah. In fact, there's one really sort of crappy supermarket. Yeah. And that's that is. And which I think is has to move. It has to move as well. <laughs> so that's the thing. You yeah. know, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, years ago they used to have that great. Well, you know, it was quite a yuppie sort of concept, but they started the um, video cinema. Yeah, 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 I did. And it was, um, yeah, I used to love going there, except that after a while you got sick of paying $10 towards sort of a video projection when you'd rather see it on film in the end, even though it was sort of groovy. That was yeah. quite interesting, like that sort of moment. I must have invested heaps of money. Yeah. Sort of dying pretty quickly. Yeah, but that's right. Yeah, I think that, that's a community bank now. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I know, which is probably doing quite well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a love. I generally tend to hate it, mm. it's right. Mm. Yeah. Because I find it quite sort of claustrophobic as well. Because yeah. it is so small and you do tend to bump into people all the time as well. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. But, you know, as soon as you walk out the door. So this is just walking around? You just walking in? around and yeah. just bump into people all the time. Yeah. It's sort of very counterproductive. You're trying to get stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's sort of, you know. I can't believe that person didn't say hello to me. It's sort of, you know, like this weird sort of little paranoia that's built up around it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, is there anything else you want to? Um, mm, I think it's fabulous. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot.